During a recent talk at the Viva Tech conference, Musk, the CEO of Tesla and founder of SpaceX and Neuralink, confidently predicted that there's an 80% chance that AI will evolve to a point where humans won't need to work. We probably none of us will have a job. If you want to do a job as kind of like a hobby, you can do a job. But, but otherwise, the, the AI and the robots will provide any goods and services that you want. Now, how is he so confident while making the statement? And should we believe him? After all, he is Elon Musk, one of the richest entrepreneurs in the world, or maybe even on Mars. In the interview, Elon also talked about things we never focused on. For example, he raised a question. What will be the purpose of our lives when everything will be done by computers and robots? We probably none of us will have a job. In that benign scenario, there would be universal high income, uh, not universal basic income, universal high income. There would be no shortage of goods or services. Everyone will, will, will have access to as much in the way of goods and services as they would like. The question will really be one of meaning. If the computer can do and the robots can do everything better than you, do, does your life have meaning? We may give AI meaning. If you want to do a job as kind of like a hobby, you can do a job. But, but otherwise, the, the AI and the robots will provide any goods and services that you want. It's alarming that not just Elon Musk, but many other prominent figures are talking about this. For example, Jeffrey Hinton, often referred to as the godfather of AI stated, I'm very worried about AI taking lots of mundane jobs. Or Imad Mustak, the CEO of Stability AI said, there will be no programmers in five years. He believes AI will soon dominate coding, making human programmers obsolete. If you wanna know more about why he said that, watch the video by clicking the I button. Now, look at this chart. These are the changes in the number of job postings on Upwork since the release of ChatGPT. We don't have to wait for the future to see if those predictions about job displacement were right. We can see the difference right now. Jobs that were once most hyped and in demand, like writing and customer service, are now seeing significant declines. A company recently announced that its AI assistant is performing the work of 700 people. Yes, you heard that right. 700 human beings replaced by one AI assistant. The AI assistant manages two-thirds of inquiries with human-like satisfaction rates and even higher accuracy, leading to a 25% reduction in repeat inquiries. Not only that, but this AI assistant operates 24-7 across 23 markets and in over 35 different languages. This means it is much more efficient than those 700 people and more cost-effective for business owners. Now, before you start scratching your head and questioning your existence. Let me give you some good news. These companies might be saving money by using AI, but they could be risking their brand reputation. For example, ITV News, a major British media outlet, covered this story. And guess what? The public reaction was quite revealing. The top comments on their video were calls to boycott the company using AI. Human beings naturally find it difficult to connect on emotional levels when they see AI on the other side. Many of our viewers often comment on how we are using AI voiceovers for our videos. And after reading those comments, we are also looking for human voiceover artists. By the way, if you like our channel, please subscribe so that we know it's worth hiring a human instead of using AI voices. While some view AI as a threat, there are influential figures with a completely different perspective. Take Andrew Eng, for example. He may not be as well known as Elon Musk or Sam Altman, but that doesn't mean his contributions should be overlooked. He is a pioneer in machine learning and also the founder of Deep Learning AI. He sees AI not as a tool for automating entire jobs, but as one for automating specific tasks, Andrew explained. Um, I think it will be a massive productivity boost for existing job roles and it will create many new job roles. And I don't want to pretend that there will be no job loss. There will be some job loss, but I think it may not be as bad as, as people are worried right now. He further elaborated. And regarding the job question, it turns out that for many jobs, if AI automates you know, 20, 30% of the tasks in a job, then the job maybe is actually decently safe. But what will happen is not that AI will replace people, but I think people that use AI will replace other people that don't. 
Essentially, what he's suggesting is that radiologists, for example, do more than just read x-rays. They also manage patient intake, compile patient histories, consult with patients, mentor younger doctors, and maintain machines. By dissecting these tasks, it's clear that AI can automate certain aspects of a job around 20-30% without eliminating the position entirely. This opens up opportunities to boost efficiency while preserving employment. But let's be honest, who can truly predict the future? If you're in an industry where AI could replace your job, it's perfectly normal to feel a mix of frustration and fear based on the various opinions out there. The key takeaway is to stay diligent. And a pro tip for those who've stuck around till the end of this video, no matter your field, start understanding how AI operates and figure out how to incorporate it into your job. This knowledge will not only set you apart from others, but also prepare you for future advancements. Well, what do you think? Share your views, and don't forget to watch these videos on your screen to stay updated.